Let's see how we can develop a many-to-many -many relationship between two database tables. Now, a one-to-many relationship is the most common type of database relationship, and actually many-to-many -many relationships don't exist in reality. What we end up doing with many-to-many -many relationships is creating two separate one-to-many relationships with a joining table or a linking table between the two. So let's do just that. I have uh, students in sports here. So many students can play many sports, and many sports are played by many students. A single student, Riviera, can play many different sports. And one particular sport, say volleyball for instance, could have many students playing that sport. So we have a many-to-many -many relationship, and so we can't just draw a line between these two and put a crow's feet on each end and uh, put a foreign key here and a foreign key here. That will not work. Uh, we would have to specify multi-values inside of each of these cells and uh, we cannot do that. That would violate our rules of database normalization. So um, let's create this linking table or this joining table between the two. And so what is this linking or joining table comprised of? It's comprised of the primary keys of the two tables it is related to. So this linking table or this junction table is related to my sport table and it's also related to my student table. Now which side of this relationship, actually both of these relationships, is the many side and which is the one side? Whenever you have linking tables or junction tables, the many side should be going into the linking table or the junction table. And remember just like in a a uh, one-to-many relationship, the side that has the crow's foot gets a foreign key. And that foreign key should be the primary key of the table it's related to. So let's start with student. Uh, the primary key of student is social security number. That means it needs to be a foreign key inside of my linking table or my junction table. So let's put that here. That's going to be SSN. And SSN is uh, both a foreign key and a member of the primary key. I'm going to denote that here. PK plus means that this is a component of a composite key. A composite key is more than one field that together uniquely identifies each record in a database. And this is also a foreign key. Why is it a foreign key? Because it's a primary key of another table. And now let's look at sport. So the primary key of sport is sport ID. Since we have the one side here and the many side here, I know that I need to create a foreign key field uh, right here for sport ID. I will do just that. And this field is, again, a component of the composite primary key. And it is a foreign key because it is another table's primary key. And so we're, we're going to be putting some data into these uh, records. But before I do that, the um, question is often asked, what do I name this table? And usually in linking tables or junction tables, you give it a name that is the name of the one table in the relationship and the name of the other table in the relationship next to each other. So I could call this table student sport. Okay? And usually we think that a table should represent an entity, a person, place, or thing, which student does, and sport definitely does. Student sport's a little more abstract, uh, but that's acceptable because this is a linking table or a junction table. So let's put some data in here. Let's say that uh, Riviera, this student up here, Riviera plays both tennis and basketball. So I would specify Riviera's social security number over here and that Riviera plays tennis. Next, I would again put the uh, student's social security number and specify sport 002 because Riviera also plays basketball. Now we have a duplicate here and that's okay because this is a member of a composite key. If this were the primary key we'd have an issue. The only primary key we'd have an issue because we'd have a duplicate. But remember the combination of this column and this column is going to uniquely identify every row. Yes, we'll have other 001s in this list. Yes, I will have other social security numbers with the same number, but I will never have another row in this linking or junction table with this social security number and this sport. There will only be one of those. Let's add a couple more. Let's say that Reyes um, is a volleyball player.
And then we have another student that's uh, playing on the tennis team, and that's Ramirez. So Ramirez, social security number is this. And uh, Ramirez is playing, what did I just say, tennis, so over here. So again, I have a duplicate. I have 001 and 001, but that's okay, because this is a member of a composite key. And so then how do we determine what sports Riviera plays? Well, we look up at the student table and see that Riviera's primary key is the social security number. So we would look for this, um, all these ones down in the social security number. And I see that in two places. So I know that uh, Riviera plays two sports. What sports does he play? He plays sport one and two. So he plays tennis and basketball, 001 and 002. And then to determine which students are playing uh, uh, basketball, for instance. So I would see that sport 002, I'd go up to this table, I see 002 here, and I can determine, oh, this student with this social security number which is Riviera, is the student playing basketball.